Okay. So um, the next workshop um, I'd like to teach uh, would build from the Intro to Grid Tracing workshop. This workshop would be called Vertical Nine Grid Tracing or Vertical Grid Tracing Sequences. Um, so yeah, uh, the first sequence I'd like to teach would build off of the three staff length hybrid that I taught in the first workshop, or I would teach in the first workshop, um, and how to combine this figure eight motion with the S cap to get up to the ceiling plane and do the same thing. Right, so now I'm doing this nine, eight, figure eight, sorry. This figure eight motion on the top, right? It's the same one as on the bottom, S capping down, and we're back to where we started. And so if, when it's all put together, two figure eights and two S caps, um, it makes the full spectrum hybrid, which looks like this. Back the other way. So yeah, that's the full spectrum hybrid. Um, that sequence makes a cross with the anti-spin, right? Four pedal anti-spin. We'll make a cross in a circle at each of these four axes or vertices, whatever you want to call them, the points where the planes intersect. And there's four of them on each plane. This is what I'm trying to get get across to people: how you can differentiate between floor plane and ceiling plane. Um, and so yeah, that sequence makes a cross and a circle at each of these four points, which completely traces the nine grid, um, and then makes some circles that make a four petal fire, which is kind of cool. But more importantly, it's, it traces the nine grid. Um, so another sequence that I'd like to do is this eight step cap. Um, so I'd make sure everybody's on the same page with this particular eight step that looks like this. Right, which is like anti spin 180, hybrid 180, hybrid 180, hybrid 180, hybrid. Um, but stretching it out onto the um, 9 grid. Uh, so it would look like this. Uh, which quickly looks like this. Eight step cap, so it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so yeah, I'll show people that sequence. That's another one that traces the nine grid vertically, which is why it's called vertical grid tracing. Um, the next sequence I would like to do is um, the same sequence that I showed in the first workshop, the first box sequence, but instead it'll be vertically. So it's going to look like this. Tilt again, tilt, and then back to where you started. Um, I'll show people it that way. I'll also show the way I really like to do it would be like one, two, three, turn 90, tilt, one, two, three, turn 90, tilt. And so basically creating this box pattern on each of the planes. Really, it's kind of putting yourself into the center cube. Like, kind of, yeah, sweet. Um, also, show people how you can start to do those, uh, throw these eight step caps or just any type of hybrid at these points and then quarter it and then go back into this box sequence. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'd like to do for vertical grid chasing. If we have time, I don't think we will, but if we do, I'll get into some third order motions. Like, uh, so this is with a cat eye with expanded zans. So my the hand path will go like this. So it's like makes kind of like four pedals. Um, looks like this.
Um, and then there's another one. Actually, probably won't have time for that. So, uh, so yeah, that's vertical grid tracing patterns with Casey. Um, so yeah, um, one more workshop.